The most significant parameters of a light are its intensity and color. Let's adjust that. I'll select the light, go into the Modify panel, and we've got here near the top the general parameters, such as whether the light is on or off, whether it's casting shadows or not. Directly below that is the intensity color attenuation rollout. Attenuation is the fall off of intensity over distance, but these lights actually have fall off built into them. In other words, they behave more or less physically accurately. We don't need to add an additional attenuation to the light unless we want to achieve some kind of special effect. We're really more concerned with intensity and color. Color is up here at the top, and this is how white the white is. If you're familiar with lighting or photography, then you have probably heard of the concept of color temperature. It's a scientific value that corresponds to a hypothetical black body. If you heat that body up to different temperatures, it will glow at different colors. And the color temperature is measured in Kelvin degrees. If we set it to the default of D65, we're going to get pure white light if we change nothing else in our scene. But we can choose a bunch of options here for different types of lights. So for example, if I wanted this to emulate a halogen lamp that had a warm color profile, I could choose that. And we can see we're getting a very warm color. However, I don't really like to use these presets because I don't know what values those presets are really invoking. We're getting a readout down here, but that's not changing when I change these to different presets. What I recommend is not to use the presets, but instead to set the color temperature manually here. I can click on this radio button that says Kelvin and then adjust that value. If we had neutral white light, then it would be 6,500 degrees Kelvin. That of course is going to be influenced by our camera. If you're a photographer, then you know you need to white balance the camera to match the light. If you're shooting indoors, then you need to have a lower color temperature to the camera and that way it will balance out and you'll get more or less white light on the screen. But we haven't played with the exposure control in 3ds max yet and it's set right now just to default d65 or 6500 kelvin and that's why when i change this to a lower number we get a very orange cast to the shot i want this to emulate the way an incandescent bulb works or a warm fluorescent bulb i'm going to set that to 3600 degrees kelvin and now we're getting a pretty orange light but later on, we will correct that with the exposure control in the camera. Then we come to the intensity. And it's set to measure in candelas by default. However, light instruments that you buy in a hardware or department store do not have a measurement in candelas. But they are rated in lumens. I'm going to switch this over to lumens. And now this field here is reading out the intensity of the light in lumens. A 75 watt incandescent bulb is kind of a standard sort of point of reference for lumens. And a 75 watt incandescent bulb is somewhere around 1500 lumens. I'm going to set this light here to 2000 lumens. Type that in, press enter. And now it's become much darker and dimmer but of course, again, we haven't adjusted the camera settings yet. Right now, I've only dealt with the color and the intensity of the light itself. All right, that's how we set up the most basic properties of a photometric light.